Alright, so uh, this is the Aji Nanbanzuke that we're going to be making today and we're going to be starting off with some water to make the base of our sauce. We just need 90 mils. Just put that into a flat container. A Pyrex dish would work well. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is adding one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce or shoyu. And then we're going to also add, after this, 90 mils of vinegar. This is sushi vinegar. So. Um, it's going to give us uh, about uh, just a little over 200 mils of liquid, which is sufficient for one decent sized IG fillet, or not fillet, a whole fish. So um, it's about a pound or so in weight, and um, this is going to be the seasoning that we're going to use after we cook the fish. So the hardest part about putting this together is actually cleaning the fish. I haven't found a market that supplies aji or horse mackerel pre-cut um, as a fillet and um, so you're gonna have to know how to clean a fish and it's not too difficult once you've done it once um, you pretty much do it the same way for all other types of fish the only difference here for aji in particular is that it has a little scoot um, which are little bony scales um, towards the back um, of the fish and you have to remove those because you don't want to eat them they're gonna be hard and they won't taste good you always want to make sure that you clean out the guts um, from the inside of the fish as well as you can. And what I do to help fillet, obviously you want to use a very sharp knife. Um, I make an incision along the belly and also the spine um, on both sides of the spine and both sides of the belly. And that helps to um, get the fillet off the spine very easily. Um, when you're removing the stomach bones off of the fish you can use a knife or you can use uh, tweezers that's another method that you can use to get the bones out or if you don't want to you can just leave them there you'll just have to get them out before you eat them all right so after cleaning the fish the next thing that you're going to do is prepare your pan for frying i use olive oil to keep it as healthy as possible while that's preheating what you're going to do is coat each of the aji pieces in a light layer of potato starch or cornstarch and then once the pan is preheated, we're going to add it and then lightly fry it. So it only takes uh, a few minutes for the pieces to cook because they're small and they're not that thick. So you want to be careful that you don't overcook your fish. The good thing about this recipe is that the fish can be substituted with other types of white fish. Um, anything that has a mild flavor and is slightly flaky. Uh, you don't really want anything too fatty because you're frying it. Um, you can even use chicken. Uh, chicken is one of my favorite alternatives to fish. Um, so you have some flexibility there if you can't find aji or horse mackerel. Alright, so as the fish pieces start to finish cooking, what you're going to do after they're done is add it to the sauce container and make sure that both sides are coated so that the flavor gets absorbed into the meat of the fish. And you want to let it marinate for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes um, and that should be good. You can also add your vegetables like onions or bell peppers if you're using those and add those to the marinade also. Alright guys, so that's, that's how I make my aji nanbanzuke. Once you serve it, all you need is a bowl of white rice and you have a delicious meal. It even tastes better the next day.